Uh, Next relationship question. If you could make 150K a year playing arena football, but it was in Saudi Arabia, would you do it? Yes. Would you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I was trying to find the money point where it's like under Why 100 100,000 would, would you do it for 90? Mm. That's the the ticket or that's maybe. the that's maybe. the fence I mean, right there. If it's if it's like the s- same season that I just had this last season, yeah, hundred percent for sure. You just I'd have only, to you just have to live there during the season. I'd only be there for four months. Oh, that's four, not four bad. months. So I could be there for four months. Give me hundred fifty k, come back, and I'll work my concrete job. You can still come back and work concrete. Oh yeah, are you kidding me? <laughs> what if they're like, okay, mo- the money flowed on the side. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bird Watching Podcast, where we ask chicks questions to get answers for. You guys, not today though. Got my boy Nathan Cromie in the house. Yes, sir. How's it going? <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> How you doing, man? Good, dude. Good. We got a ton of fun in store today. Um, we always start out with a rooster review, so we try out a beverage, give it a rating, make sure to give uh, one to ten, and give a decimal because no decimals is rookie scores. Yeah, no rookie scores. No rookie scores. Right. So we'll crack these puppies open. We got the uh, Bud Light Seltzer Sangria Splash today. Mm. Try it out. <laughs> Never, Give never tried this. Uh, shout out Reese. Do you know Reese? Reese. I don't know his last name. Probably. Like a light skin kid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He left these in my car after we went up to Afton. Oh, nice. So shout out Reese. Yeah. Thanks, Reese. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it. All right, knock <laughs> All it. All right, yeah. And dock it. It's a little different. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's a little different. It's all right. I'm not a huge seltzer guy, so. I don't know. It's a pretty sweet seltzer. Mm-hmm. Have you noticed that seltzers are getting more and more sweet? It's not yeah. like it's not and like just carbonated water anymore. Hundred percent, and they're starting to like get. It's like getting a little more foamyish. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's got a, it's got a fake sweetener taste to it. Pretty right, ha- pretty hard. Right, yeah. it's okay though. It's not terrible. I'm not a fan. Uh, do you have a rating for? Her? This, yeah, I'm just like. A, like a 5.2. It's <laughs> yeah. not good. I, I'm, I'm not, not a huge there. fan of it. I'd go like... I'd go like 6.1. Yeah. Yeah. So like right around in the area. It's not something that I would go recommend to somebody. Yeah. But I wouldn't walk into a liquor store and grab it. No. no. Definitely not. I 100%. wouldn't buy a 12-pack. But if somebody gave me one at a party or a bar or something, yeah, I'll drink I, it. If I don't got any alcohol yeah. myself, I'll take <laughs> <Right>. it. <laughs> if I'm not already holding a beer, I'll take one from you. Right. Mm. It's all right. And not for me. <laughs> not, no, not for Nathan. Not for Chrome Dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First game we're getting into, Mount Rushmore. Today, we are doing non-conventional sports. All right. So uh, an example would be like <coughs> ping pong, uh, I don't know, racquetball, stuff like that. So yep. stuff that it's not, it's not basketball, it's not football, it's not soccer, it's not hockey. Okay. Do you want to start it out? And we'll do it in like draft order. Okay. So once you so, go, I can't take that one. I'll go. You go. I'll go. All right. Um, My first one would probably have to be Can Jam. Can Jam? I Is love, that the Frisbee one? Yeah, that's the Frisbee one where you <laughs> tap it. I love that game. Do like, you? Yeah, it's super fun, dude. <laughs> I love it. Can Jam. Yeah. I think that, that game reminds me of like graduation parties. Right? Yeah. Right? I, I don't know. Whenever I'm at like a beach or something, we'd be playing Can Jam. So. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. I feel like our go-to would be like spike ball. Yeah, spike ball is fun too. It's right up there. It's a blast. Both good beach games. Right. All right, my first one. I'm gonna go with cornhole. Oh, good, good, <laughs> good choice, dude. <laughs> cornhole is awesome. Dude. Cornhole is epic. Yeah, cornhole, I love cornhole. is sweet. Cornhole uh, tournaments at a cabin and a beer. Nothing better. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. You got me in my yeah. sweet spot right me there. Me and my family, we have so uh, our uh, at my family reunion, we do. A uh, cornhole tournament and a golf tournament in the same day. So we'll do the oh. golf tournament in the morning, yeah. and then we'll have a cornhole, cornhole. tournament right after. Dang. Yeah, yeah it's you, pretty fun. Have you ever won both? Yeah, uh, no, not both. I played in it. <laughs> I did it one year, and I didn't win in the golf, and I won the cornhole. Okay. Yeah. So. Which one? Which one would you rather win in? A cornhole. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Come on. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Cornhole is epic. I yeah, think that's cornhole's a, awesome, man. That, that's a safe bet for a non-conventional sport. I think anybody from the Midwest specifically has right. played cornhole at least once in their right. life, <laughs> right. for sure. All right, what's your second pick? Um, darts. Darts, like, like darts or yeah, beer darts? Like both. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> both. I, beer darts. Beer but darts. But beer darts, I play more often. But I do like playing darts on a dartboard. Yeah. But 
I'll be talking about beer darts this time. Yeah. Beer darts is fun. Just, beer darts goes crazy. Yeah. I'm starting at noon, getting a group of 15 guys together, <laughs> sitting in a circle, see how many cans you can pile yeah. up. Dude. Catch one in your knee by three. You know, catch one in the toe by two. <laughs> <laughs> I should have started with that one. Oh, that was good. That should be on like a, if we ever make any sort of like beer dart kit, that'll be, uh, that'll be one of the sayings like, uh, dart in your toe by two. Another one in your knee by three or yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sold. Right, Sold. Out, right off the shelves. If you guys don't know what beer darts is, it's essentially a group of, oh, it doesn't have to be guys, a group of people, um, and you're sitting in a lawn chair and you have a beer between your legs, and then there's two darts going around. Yeah. So if somebody throws a dart at your can and it hits your can, wherever the hole is, you have to drink down to that. Yeah. And then if it gets hit a second time, you got to kill it. If it gets hit in the top of the can, you got to kill it. Um, and if it gets hit in the bottom, it's pretty much a shotgun. Yeah, you got a shotgun yeah. pretty much, so. So that's essentially Beard Arts. It's a, it's a great game. It's a fun game. It's a fun it's game. Really, yeah. It's also kind of, I've thought about this, it's a bit of a waste of booze. Yeah, it is. Like it you're is. losing half but a game. But any drinking game really is if you think about it. Yeah. And true. Like, but besides like Tippy Cup. but Yeah, true. Yeah. True. Tippy yeah. Cup, you're getting all of it. Yeah. But those are usually it. just like shots yeah, of beer. Yeah, you just take a little shot yeah, of beer or something. Yeah. You're fine. You're good. All right, my number two, staying in the realm of uh, Saturday boozing, Beer Dye. Beard Eye? I've only played that game once. Really? Yes. Dude, it was huge yeah. in Arizona when I lived out there for college. Mm -hmm. Any house party that you went to, they had a beard eye in the backyard. Yeah. No, we, we were always playing beer pong. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yep. a classic. Yep. I'm not a huge beer pong guy, though. I love beer pong because, yeah. just because I was like a basketball player. And then uh -huh. ever, like, ever since I started it, I was always pretty good at it. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm, a, I'm all right at beer pong, but something about it is kind of like... It feels too generic for me. Right. Like when you show up to a party, they're like, let's do beer pong. Every whatever. party you go to. Yeah, I'm like, right, yeah. eh, we do this every time. 100%. But still a fun game. Yeah, 100%. All right, you got your three? Uh, yeah, My third one, Spike Ball. Spike Ball. Spike Ball. I love that. <laughs> we got a love lineup it. right yeah. now. <laughs> yes. Yes. Spike yep. Ball goes hard. Yeah, um, no, for real. You ever played in any like competitive tournaments for no spike? but i've seen videos on tiktok and stuff and there's no way i could keep up no those guys are nuts no they're crazy they're on a different level they're crazy. i thought i was pretty good at it and mm -hmm. then i watched them and i'm like i'm not good at this mm -hmm. at all i realized pretty quickly that i'm just like uh, i'm i'm passable as an athlete but i'm not like i'm not like him for spike ball yeah like no. those guys are making moves that i could never do no 100 percent. like yeah. diving like three feet over the net and then yeah. hitting it back and like perfect accuracy like yeah. what what are you doing right how do you do that put spin on the ball right i try to sometimes but i usually miss i do <laughs> <laughs> same with ping pong yeah. right um my three uh we're getting off the beach i love badminton badminton is fun that badminton's is fun. fun have you ever played um uh, pickleball yeah, pickleball is fun too. I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of pickleball either. For some reason, mm -hmm. I think it's probably because I'm not as good at pickleball. Yeah, I'm not that good at tennis either. But I can play badminton. I guess. No, I wasn't super good at tennis either. I just need the. I just need the ball or the. What do they call it in badminton? A fly? Uh, no. A what is it? Mosquito. No. <laughs> <laughs> is no. it a bug or something? No. What is it called? A birdie. Yeah. yeah there yeah, you go. Yeah. 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 The birdie. Yeah, I think so. The birdie <laughs> takes longer to drop down. So I think. Because I have more time to react, it yeah. might be better. Because most of the time, you got to hit it up, and it yeah. dies right away. Yep. If you can get it right over the net and have it die quick yeah. and make them go get it, oh, you're, yeah. you're going to be a good Yeah, you're going to get points. Player. Yeah, 100%. Shout out Badminton. I think it's... i got to look this up before I say it, because it might sound racist. Badminton, predominant country. Japan. China and Japan. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Like pretty dominantly. We should have tried to guess it before. I would have guessed it, <laughs> but if, if I was wrong, like if it was like Italy, then it'd right. be like, oh, you just assume that that's every region I was, plays I got thought it would be in that region, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of figured like Philippines, right? China, Japan, somewhere in there. They take up both of them uh, separately. Take up eighteen percent of players. Really? Yeah, and Indonesia takes up sixteen. Korea is fourteen, and then the rest of the world is like two percent, four percent. Yeah. So it's kind of fact of the day. Fact of the day. <laughs> Asian people like badminton. Right. Stop it. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I, I guess, you got the stats. Yes, there is statistics <laughs> for it to back it up. No, I can say it. Asian people like badminton. <laughs> I guess they do. <laughs> All right. What's your, uh, you're on four now. What's your number four? Uh, what would it be? Number four. I just had it. Oh, froth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Frothing's fun. That's a really good one. Yeah. I actually am right in that area for my last one. I was going to do, well, I did some honorable mentions, but I think 
So my four was originally bowling. Yeah. But I was going to actually switch it to ultimate frisbee because mm -hmm. I love ultimate. Ultimate frisbee is super fun. Do you like ultimate more than frolf? Uh, yeah. Same. hundred percent. Yeah. I've just, fro I've just frothed more than I played ultimate frisbee. Same. So, so have I. Yeah. Ultimate is another one that like, if we had a decent amount of guys at a grad party, mm -hmm. we'd like get on a field and play ultimate. Yeah. That'd be super fun. Dude. It's so fun. Super fun. It's like football in, 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 uh, frolf. I guess, or Frisbee. Yeah, hundred. It, it is. It is, it's, yeah. yeah. That's you exactly just can't move with the Frisbee, right? True, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. you got to stay stationary. I think you get like two steps after you catch it. Mm -hmm. And then you're done. Yeah. It's like a travel in basketball. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Dope. Well, that was our Mount Rushmore's. Comment below who you think won, who had better sports. Uh, that was a heck of a lineup, my boy. <laughs> I know. Me too. <laughs> I had a crazy lineup. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Let's get into relationships. Let's talk about chicks a little bit, huh? All right, all right. All right. Here's your first question, and I got to change it because you just told me to. Yes. There we go. Just for the record. <laughs> What's it like being 23 with two kids? They're, honestly, man, it's pretty awesome. Being, Is it? Yeah, being, yeah, being young. Like, at first, I was thinking I was just going to be, like, going, like, it was just another bump in, like, bump in the road in life. Yeah. But I, it, it, it helped me grow up a little more, mm -hmm. a little quicker, make better decisions. For and sure. I mean, I didn't always make the right decision, but it made me kind of more... Yeah, like I said, that's part of growing up, though, you mm -hmm. know, making a better decision for yourself. And then also having them factor into it, it kind of makes you think twice about almost everything. So having kids young is awesome. I'm going to be able to grow up with them and watch them grow up as True. I grow up myself. True. And then I just know that everything that I have to do has to not just be better for me, but better for both of us in the wrong, mm. long run, all three of us, you know. So do you think it made you more selfless? Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah 100%. I've heard that. I've heard yeah. that even about marriage, too, where it's like you get into marriage, you realize how selfish you were before. Right. And I think it's the same thing when you have kids because, like, I think it's a natural process into selflessness mm -hmm. because, like, you just care about somebody more than you care about yourself almost right. now. Right. Which you never have before, but. No, before then, it's, before then, yeah, right. You've never felt that way towards someone. Right. And being your own kid, it's not a better feeling. No. There's no better feeling, man. It's, right. it's awesome. And how How old are the kiddos? Uh, my oldest is going to be seven in April. And seven? Then, yeah, bro. He just, <laughs> he just started first grade. <laughs> Stop laughing. I had him when I was 16. We, we talked about this before. Yeah, Come on, did. man. We and did. then, we uh, did. the youngest is going to be two in February. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Same mom. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Seven. That's crazy. You got a seven year old. Pretty cool. Yeah, it is crazy. Pretty cool. Cause what, when I'm. 30 he's gonna be playing sports and i can still play with him Jeez. and still do it good and stuff that is cool yeah it's, it's it's like if you think about the long run it's pretty cool to be a young parent yeah for sure what did your parents think at the time when you were 16 uh, when i was 16 yeah. when i told my mom she was honestly she was just like all right there's nothing we can do about it now what are we going to do from here yeah and then good approach she was, yeah she was super super supportive and then we both had supportive families so it kind of went smoother than more yeah, smoother than what more what yeah sorry what other people would think you know yeah but smoother or more smoothly yeah smoother I'd say smoother smoothest I think smoothest it's probably the <laughs> went smoothest. the smoothest way it could <laughs> <laughs> well that's good though yeah I mean yeah. the last thing you, that you'd want is being a 16 year old and your parents are like shunning you mm -hmm. which yeah. is like mm. I understand it mm -hmm. like as a parent I'd be like dang like that was dumb yeah but no, at I the end of the it. day you can't go back right like you just got to move forward from right. here you know mm -hmm. yeah. I think you took a positive spin on it, man. Life goes on, man. Life does go it on. It does not stop. Next question for you. Do you ever see yourself getting married? Uh, at my point in my life right now, uh, no, but I'm, I guarantee you or it will more likely change. Yeah. Because uh, obviously at the stages of life and uh, as I grow up, if I find the right woman and actually when we stay together and yeah. everything works out and I'm happy and she's happy and if marriage is the right move, the marriage is the right move. It'd be, it'd be sweet, but, Lock it in. At, at, but at, my, at this point right now in my life, no, I don't see myself getting married. Yeah. I feel the same way. And I'm a little bit older than you too. I'm 26 mm -hmm. and it's a weird feeling. Cause like you go through college, I think before you get into college in high school, you're like, okay, by the end of college, I'm going to find a chick. We're going to yeah. get married. We're going to start our family. Yeah. I'm going to have kids by 27, whatever. Mm -hmm. Then you get out of college and you're like, oh, okay, well didn't happen in college, but it's going to happen like pretty soon. You know, yeah. I want, I want kids by 27 still. So married by 25, we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Then you get to like 26 and you're like, I don't, I'm not ready for marriage. <laughs> right. I'm not. Right. Like I don't see myself getting married ever right I, now. Yeah. It's no. a weird concept. And I, I say if you're financially stable and she is financially stable on, uh, uh, by herself and by yourself and you guys can co like conjoin your bank accounts and stuff and you guys can do it and work on it together and have yeah. like 
uh, you know, that 50 50 that you guys get along. And like, if, if you see marriage with this woman and she sees marriage with you, you guys will probably end up getting married as long as the plan doesn't change. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I think, I think that's a good way to look at it. And I don't think a lot of people do look at it like that anymore where it's like a financial thing. Right. Cause I think a lot of people are just, they get into this mindset that, okay, we've been dating for two and a half years. Yeah. Now's the time that we do get married. Even if we're swimming in school debt mm-hmm. or we got car payments, we don't have a house yet. I'm yeah. living with my parents. She's living with hers. Yeah. Stuff like that is like, I think society or societal like put uh, pressure kind of pushes you in one way or the other. Right. Where it's like, sometimes it's just, sometimes you have to date for three years because you're not financially stable yet. Exactly. And marriage is not cheap. No. Marriage is expensive. The whole thing. Kids are not cheap. Yes. And you know that. Yes. That's crazy. Yep. Yep. Yeah, dude. Don't they say by the time a kid's 18, the average money that you'll spend on them is like a million dollars or something like that? It's it's close to, I'm, I guarantee it, if not more. You yeah. never know because you're you, that's all through their life. Or, I mean, unless the kid gets like a job at 15. But right. that's rarely going to happen because most kids don't even want to work right. when they turn 18. Right, true. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, and it's getting worse so, too. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah, bad. Getting I'm, real bad. I'm sure your kids will have a strong work ethic though. Yeah. If they got anything from you, I think they'll be fine. Oh, yeah. No, they love playing with my finishing tools for with concrete and stuff. So there like, you go. That, all my oldest son does is want to work. So I like, really? <laughs> you know, I'm like, all right, yeah. man. He'll be working by 12, man. You're chilling. Yeah, exactly. Get a him a concrete kid. job, man. Yeah. Make him four minutes. Just jack him. Just bounce all over the thing. That'd be funny. That would be funny. All right. Next relationship question. If you could make 150K a year playing arena football, but it was in Saudi Arabia, would you do it? Yes. Would you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I was trying to find the money point where it's like under Why 100, not? under a hundred thousand. Would, would you do it for ninety? Mm. That's the the ticket. Or that's maybe. The, that's maybe. the fence I mean, right there. If it's if it's like the same season that I just had this last season, yeah, hundred percent for sure. You just have only, to you just have to live there during the season. I'd only be there for four months. Oh, that's four, not four bad. months. So I could be there for four months. Give me hundred fifty k. Come back and I'll work my concrete job. You still come back and work concrete? Oh yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what if they're like okay? Kidding? The money flow don't stop. We'll pay you hundred fifty k to work or to to play arena football in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. And then the other eight months, you got to work concrete, but we'll give you another 150K. To stay in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. No, I want to come home. Okay. So you'll take <laughs> I just, come just home. the front end of that. 150K. Yeah. That's 300,000 though. That's, like, a, lot that, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Dude. That's I like mean, almost half a kid before they're 18. Yeah. I mean, I guess if I move that. on like the outskirts of Saudi Arabia and I'm like alone and I have my own house and my own place and I can move my family there. I can't. Yeah. yeah. Family not? gets to come with. For yeah, sure. Why, oh yeah. Yeah. Then I do it for sure. Really? Why not? It's just hot. <laughs> it is hot, but I, the house has AC, my boy. Yeah, true. <laughs> if you're making 300K a year, that house has yes, AC, yes, my boy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. I, I didn't know if 150K was going to be enough. I thought you were going to be like, nah, I'd probably need like 250 or something like that, just because it's such a oh, trek out there. I hope Hopefully the bonuses are included, you know what I'm bonuses saying? Bonuses are included. Like yeah. touchdown bonuses, yardage oh, bonus, yeah. win oh, bonus, yeah. all that stuff. For sure. All right, then yeah. Yeah, I'd do it. For the sure. reason that I came up with that question is Nathan plays arena football. Um, and I was also thinking about the live tour for golf yeah. where it's like all these guys are going to Saudi Arabia to play golf for like millions of dollars. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like they don't even have to win. They just have to be in the tournaments. Yeah. So I would think that in the future, Saudi Arabia could create like you fill it with any sport you want, but yeah. arena football, right? They're like, we're going to blow this up. We're going to make it the next big thing. And we're going to pay all of our athletes 500 K 750 K Oh yeah. a million yeah. for like the best guys. That'd be super sweet. That'd be, sick. That'd be super sick. That'd be sick. That'd be sick. You know that you'd have people in, in America though, that are like, this is wrong. You know, you're not, you're giving money to the, or whatever. Like you're taking money from, but what do we have to say about it? They can't, they can't say nothing. No. I'm going to get paid. Brooks Kepka's getting paid right <laughs> uh, yeah, now. Yes. Yeah. I am going to get paid. <laughs> yeah. And we're construction in, where's Saudi Arabia? I know it's middle East, but it's, it's its own country. Yeah. Yeah. I it's, think so. It's, it's like by Iraq and Iran, right? I'm not a huge geography guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, but I I think you I think you're right. Yeah, I think it's like. I, it, is it is it south of them? Um, it is. It's oh, it's yeah, south southwest of Iraq and Iran. It's okay. north of Yemen and Oman, and oh. it's east of Egypt and Sudan. Okay, so it's right in between Iraq, Iran, and Yemen. Yeah, it's like smack dab in the middle, and then like yep. Israel, Jordan, and Syria are right above it, and Palestine. Okay. So it's like right in the middle. Okay. You'd be yeah. in a bit of a war it's a hot spot. This season. <laughs> it's a hot spot. <laughs> it's a hot spot right that now. That house is going to have AC and bulletproof windows. <laughs> yeah. And then you got your your 50-yard field down there too. Right, you know. Oof. You know. That'd be kind of Little rink. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
All right, what's your favorite meal that your mom makes you? Oh, my, her homemade crunchy chicken casserole. What is that? What does that it's, consist it's of? It's like it's so it has uh, it has chicken in it, cheese, and I can't I can't remember the rest of it. I never made it. She always made it. Did so you put like, chips on top. Oh yeah. So it yeah. Oh, that's yeah. my favorite food. Oh, dude, it's so good. My mom makes it. We call it a potato chip hot dish. Yeah, we call it crunchy chicken casserole. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, what it is. Exactly does it have noodles in it too? No, we don't have noodles oh, in ours. You do no, rice it's or? chicken, rice, rice, mayonnaise, I think, and then it has like some. Other sauce that like takes the mayonnaise taste out or something oh, okay. like that, and then like it mustard had, or something. Yeah, maybe? and then cheese, yep. and then a little more chicken, and then potato chips, and then chicken and potato chips. Bro. Oh yeah. So my my mom is gonna make it soon for because yeah. she was supposed to do it for our birthday, and she's yeah. gonna come over and do it. So if I get some, I'll bring some to you. I, I, I'll let I'll you check. Over. Yes, we can put it on the podcast for a review. Yes, <laughs> yes let's do dude. that. Yes. Yeah, dude. My mom. So. I even still, when it's my birthday, I ask for that meal. Me too. Every crunchy, year, crunchy chicken casserole. Yeah, potato chip hot. Yeah, dish. And she, she'll be like, "You want like, do you want me to make you like, you want me to take you out for dinner or something?" I'm like, "No, you can take me to your. Like, I'll come to your house and you just make crunchy <laughs> yes. chicken casserole Dude, and I'll be happy." I've I've literally been in that exact same situation for the last like eight years. They're like, oh. "We can take you to Texas Roadhouse. We can go to whatever, nah. wherever you want." I'm like, "Nah, I want potato chip hot dish <laughs> right. like, so bad." And then I put right. ketchup on it. Oh yeah, no 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 sauce for me. On, no sauce. On the hot. You just no. eat it straight up. Oh, so good. So it's good. so good, dude. Yeah. Shout out Midwest Moms. Right. They are cooking Midwest right. Midwest Moms are winning. <laughs> yeah, they are winning. <laughs> Shout out Moms. All right. Here's your next relationship question. Is lying ever okay? Mm, I mean, no. No. Honestly, no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can't really... I can't I can't say that I've never lied. Right. Because we've all lied before. Of course. But no, it's not. Truth hurts. And but lying hurts even worse because that's just hiding the truth, and the truth yep. always comes out. You know what I'm saying? Facts. It hurts the per like if if you're lying to someone, it hurts the person way worse and way more than telling them the truth mm -hmm. straight up. Do you think the thing that scares people is just the they're like trying to prolong the hurt? Yeah, is that why they, they lie? Yeah, hundred percent. Because I, I think I, everybody knows that the truth does come out at some point. Yeah, and they just don't want that situation to end like that. Now they yeah. want to like. Just try and stretch hold it on, on and yeah. hold it on to it because they know that it's <laughs> if it's bad enough, yeah, they know that it's gonna you're gonna lose that person. Yep, you're gonna lose for sure. Yeah, true. Lot. yeah. If they right? know that it's like this is if, if this comes out, this is ending the relationship. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna lie about it. But yeah, but honestly, a, you never know that if you do tell the truth, and then they just respect you even more for telling them the truth. True. You always have a better chance of doing that. There's zero chance if you lie. Facts. And they find out you're lying, you're done. Yeah. And yeah. even if they don't find out, you're living on a lie. Yeah. Like, and you, I, that, that's just something you're going to live with. You yeah. Know? That's a terrible way to go through life. Because then yeah. you're just constantly in an anxiety of like, does she know? Does she know? Like, mm -hmm. that sucks. Right. That's worse than just telling her the truth and breaking up almost. Yeah. But yeah, I get it. Yeah. Lying stuff. Mm -hmm. Don't lie. Ever. Do not. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last relationship question. Do you believe in the concept of soulmates? Yes. Do you? Yeah, I, I do. I do just because of uh, my grandparents. It, that's why. Because mm. they, they were together since, like, high school. They always got along. Yeah. They never really fought. I mean, when they did, it wasn't something huge, and they always worked together to get through yeah. their problems together. That's dope. They, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, I do believe in that because just seeing their relationship growing up and how good it was – from when I was a kid, yeah, and it was just—it's just amazing to see two people that truly love each other and truly are there for each other, no matter what. No matter what happens, they were there for each other, and they always had a good time with each other. And it just—it was just, uh, and it was like um, so easy for them, you know? Yeah, they so, made it look easy. Yeah, yeah, because it was just like nonchalant. It was just something they both wanted. That's like the definition of soulmates, right there. Right, exactly. It's like when you can make it work. And you love the person so much that you're willing to get past the hardships. Mm -hmm. But doing it together is like the only way it really works. Right. Right. Because you can't leave one shut out. Otherwise, they're just going to sit there asking questions uh, to themselves. They're not going to bring it to you, especially if you shut them out. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. So in a relationship, you almost have to do everything together, you know? Facts. Right. Communication's huge, too. Communication we always, is ginormous. We talk it's, about it, like, every single episode. Because I'm usually on this side of the table, like, single. And mm -hmm. then the other person has a girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Yeah. And then they're just always like, what's the most important? Or I'll ask, what's the most important aspect of a relationship? Yeah. Communication's, like, almost always the answer. Yeah, 90% of the time, it's going to be communication. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. Crazy. Communicate. 
Communicate, Communicate people. and don't lie. And don't lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And play arena football in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> 150K. 150K. We're starting a league. All right, we're going to take a quick break. All right. All right. Next game we're going to play, it's called Two True... Oh, nope. We're not doing that one yet. Next game we're going to play is Hot Takes. Okay. So this is how it works. You give out a, a take that most people probably wouldn't agree with you, and then you have to justify it. All right. <laughs> Sweet. All right. My first one, kombucha is weirdly good. Agreed. 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 Okay. I, I do like kombucha. Do, uh, what do you think about it? Is appealing. Like I, I know why people don't like it. It's got a little funky flavor to it. It, it really, it does. It does. Yeah. Like that's what I tried. That when I tried it for the first time, I took a sip of it. I was like, "That's weird." Mm -hmm. And then I looked at the dude that like gave me a sip, and I was like, "But it's good. Yeah, it, it, it's good." <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I and it gives you energy. Yeah, I, true. I love that stuff. I love it before football. Oh, yeah, interesting. I do drink it. I I would drink those RX Energy kombucha. Or uh, it was Arizona tea, I think actually. So yeah. not relevant. Yeah, yeah. It kind of had a similar flavor. Mm -hmm. Like it had a, and doesn't it have like uh, pro proactives or something in it? I th I think so. Or I like, know that oh, it's really good for you. It's good for your stomach. Yes, it's good yes. for your gut. Very health. good. So hot girls with stomach issues drink kombucha. Yes, is what I've heard. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> around around the block. That's just all block. I heard. You know, <laughs> heard it through the grapevine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. Uh, what's your first hot take? Olives are disgusting. They're gross. I don't agree with you there. <laughs> Dude, they're so bad. I How? love all of them. No. Black and green? Both. Both they are both gross. make me gag. Really? Yeah, dude. I like the smell of black olives even make me gag. Really? Yeah. When I was working at Domino's, it was really hard for me to put black olives <laughs> on his stuff. It was, <gasps> Do you like mushrooms? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't yeah, like mushrooms. But I, I have to have them sautéed or deep fried. Okay. Like, I can't like eat a normal mushroom. What about on a pizza? Mm, not a huge fan, but I'll eat it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of raw uh, mushrooms. Or tomatoes. Mushrooms and spaghetti. Have no, I don't really it? like it. I pull them out. It's good. Yeah, I'll literally... Really? You pull them out? I'll pull them to the side of the plate. I think they, I think it's good. I don't like it. I don't know why. I also don't really like them sautéed, though. No. So, yeah. like, on a steak with yeah. onions and oh, mushrooms? Yeah. yeah, my dad is best. all over I that. Love that. I don't like I'm them. all over it, too. I don't know it must why. be a dad thing. Yeah, it must it's be gotta a dad be a dad thing. thing I just need to have a kid, and then I'll like mushrooms. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Especially on your steak, sautéed. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, eventually I'll be able to eat them raw if I have enough kids. Right. No, I don't know. I don't know why. Just and I, right But I love bag. black olives, so it's kind of funny that... And green, but... It's mm. funny that just some people have different taste, taste like food palettes. Nah, yeah, they're terrible. Like if, <laughs> when my brother gets pizza, I tell him I will not eat it if it has any olives on it. Really? Yep. And so he always gets me a pizza on the side because he loves the things like all my brothers do. Mm. It's only me that doesn't like them. Mm. What's the weirdest food dislike in your family out of your brothers? Like somebody doesn't like peanut butter or something. Uh, what is it? Does anybody not like peanut butter? I don't know. My family's not really picky eaters, so oh, okay. it's, it's kind of hard. We all have like that one, like like artichoke or something, yeah. or like mine's olives. Uh, what is it? Uh, my my twin brother. Yeah, his is um, what is it? There's one that he just can't stand. Can't remember. I feel like I should know this. You should like the same person. <laughs> that, well, I was thinking that when you said that, you're like, oh, mine's olives and my twin brothers, and I was like. It's probably wrong to think like this, but I kind of assumed you guys had very, very similar. No. Nah. No. Nah. No. No. I mean, you're both not picky though. So. No, we've always liked different foods growing up. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, like spaghetti. I love spaghetti. I loved Alfredo. He yeah. could not. He didn't like spaghetti. He didn't like Alfredo. He'd just eat butter noodles. What? Yeah, he was a weird kid. Bro. Weird kid. Dude, Alfredo is legendary. Alfredo is so yes. good. Oh, so With good. shrimp. Oh, and grilled chicken. Dude, mm. we're we're just talking about food this whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We gotta get back on topic here. <laughs> we, we, we're sorry, chicks. sorry, we sidetracked. Yeah. I think we're hungry. <laughs> I could eat. <laughs> I could I eat. I could go for food. All right, my next hot take: Toyotas make the best vehicles for the price. I can't disagree. They do make the Camry. Yep. Camry is a really good car. I got a Camry. That, Camry hybrid. Good choice. Yeah. Good choice. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's either that or Honda. Honda makes good vehicles too. Mm -hmm. Their Accords are really nice. Yeah, Honda Accords are nice. Yep. And they're pretty cheap. They're pretty yeah. affordable. Yeah. Nice cars. Yeah. Yeah. So can't disagree. I feel like there's a decent amount of people that like Toyotas, but cars are a weird thing because, like, you get into them. I feel like your parents will get into one type of car and then they'll continue to buy that type of car usually. Yep. So then their kids, your kids will grow up like me. We've always owned Toyotas pretty mm -hmm. much since I can remember. For the last decade, I'd say we've had pretty much three Toyotas in the, in the garage. Right. So I've just always liked them because. Usually I don't have to take them in for repairs very often. Um, the hybrid kind of sucks because my battery. I got to get a new battery every ten years, which isn't bad. But yeah, it's like it's not terrible. It's like four hundred bucks. Yeah, oof. I know. So that I hurts. went in, kind of a sidetrack story again. But 
I went to O'Reilly's because my battery was dying on me. Mm -hmm. They were like, yeah, it'll be like 150 bucks. I was like, yeah. perfect. Sounds good. Yeah. And then they look at the battery and they're like, oh no, this has a uh, like a scanner on it or like some sort of computer chip because it's a hybrid car. So it has to not only use the energy from the battery, but also create energy through like solar or something like yeah. that. So they're like, you have to bring it to a dealership and they'll replace it. So I'm like, oh, shoot. So yeah. then I go in. I'm expecting to pay like 250 maybe 3 No, and it's going to be more expensive. Yeah, I knew it was going to be more expensive because yeah. uh, it's a specific battery and you're at a dealership. So I, they're like 380 And I was like, dang. And they're Oof. like, and your tires are all busted. Oof. And I was like, Oof. what? I they're was like, running up the bank account yeah, on dude. you, man. So from 150 to almost 1400 in about two hours. Oof. And I was just like, yeah. what? How did that just happen? Mm. And I was supposed to go to they Cancun. They get you every time, I was dude. supposed to go to Cancun at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Not, not anymore. Happened, no, no, no. No. Nope. I'm driving my Cancun trip right now. I'm sorry, pal. That's all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right. We'll bounce back. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. Yeah, you'll go to Cancun. You'll get there. Yeah. Isn't that funny how you go to a dealership or like certain auto body shops and your tab just runs up? Just goes straight through the roof. It's it's weird. Sometimes I think they're busting my chops. Oh, yeah. A yeah. little bit. They're trying to get as much money off of you as they can while yeah. you're in there because usually you don't go into a dealership to do that type of stuff. You just go to like a normal maintenance shop right you know so they're like oh by the way uh your tread's super low it's yeah like, is it mm, is it mm, i just checked I just, it's not <laughs> <laughs> you like use your own finger mm, no you're wrong mm, I, I don't think so nope, that's i don't good. think so that's yeah. a good tread yeah that's all right yeah it'll do <laughs> it'll do for i'll now. wait for the winter yeah yeah <laughs> they were saying that they were like you you won't these tires won't make it to the winter and i was like what? Seriously? Come on. Like, actually, I've seen yeah. some absolute rust buckets driving yeah. around. I think it'll yeah. be fine. I, but I guarantee those rust buckets have had some scary moments. Oh, yeah, for uh, sure. Some super Going scary Going down the highway. Moments. Yeah. You hear something pop. You're hoping it's... <laughs> Start slide. Yeah, you're hoping it's like a paper bag in the backseat or something. No, you're just assuming. You're not hoping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, All right, you got another hot take? Uh, yeah. Jeans are better than cargo shorts. True. Yes. Cargo shorts are out, yeah, in my I'm, opinion. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan. I'll wear them sometimes. but I feel like it's it, you can get away with it if you're working. Yep. Because then you can put stuff in the pockets and yeah. stuff. Yeah. But outside of that. But usually on like uh, on union job sites and stuff, you really can't wear shorts depending on like what your job title is. It's usually pants? Yeah. Like you have required. to wear jeans. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. And is it is that like if you're working at a... Uh, Anywhere on a union job site. Oh, really? Anywhere, yeah. It's just a union rule then. Yep. So if you're on like a commercial job site, you have to wear... Pants, even especially like, if you're in the union. Even like July? Yeah. Whew. Yep. Get a little toasty? Oh, yeah. You but I always wear jeans all summer. Can you lose the shirt? Can you go tarps nope. off? You nope. got to wear a tarp? Yeah, yeah, and you can't go sleeveless. Oh. Yeah, you got to keep a sleeve. Jeez. Yeah, but with my job, it's not union, so I, I go sleeveless all the time. Oh, just yeah. if, I'm, if we're on a commercial job site, I just wear sleeves. Yeah. Yep. Just so. be smart. Yeah. I worked uh, for a landscaping company for a while, and we'd go tarps off. Because it was private owned, so yeah. they didn't care. Yeah. But I, I could imagine if you're like doing construction for a Chick Fil A, right? You wouldn't want a bunch of these old chunky dudes with their shirts <laughs> off, <laughs> eating chicken, watching you work. Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm out. I'm gonna yeah. just keep my uh, yeah. The man boobies out. Heck yeah. yeah no, Are I'm most out. of the guys that you work with in pretty good shape? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. feel like you kind of have to be. Yeah. Especially in like the concrete, especially with like how we work, we we all do everything. So. Yeah. You got to be in a little bit of shape or at least do what you can. I mean, you're burning, up. you're burning calories every oh, day, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. I got like, the Apple Watch on. I almost, oh, take, yeah. Yeah, I almost take what? Today I have... Yeah, let's see where your from, numbers from, are at. From work today I have... I've burned 715 calories. Okay. And I've taken 11,000 steps and walked six miles. Jeez. Six miles is 750 calories? Yeah. I need to start stepping. <laughs> That's not that much. No, it's really not. But like me stepping is like I'm. I mean, I don't really have a shit ton of calories to burn. True. Sorry for the language. Yeah, uh, <laughs> shits are fine. Okay, perfect. I like shits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't have like a shit ton of calories to burn because like I don't have like a shit ton of fat on my body. Yeah. But so on my steps, I just walk across five feet, walk back, and then I'm walking oh. twenty feet, and so then I'm walking back. It's just short and spurts yeah. and. It's six miles stuff but in, like that. in a one segment. Yeah, and I probably thing. burn more because I'm shoveling and True. raking and doing all that. But Apple Watch probably doesn't pick that up. So probably not. No, no. I think you it's know. just steps. You know, and it probably picks up steps from me moving the watch and True. doing stuff like true, that. True, true, so, true. Yeah, yeah, it's a good point. Yep. Yeah, that's interesting. You'd think you'd be more calories, but also a I've heard more. if you're in good shape, I think you burn 
without working out a day, you burn like 2,000 calories just on like bodily functions. Yeah, right. yeah. Like keeping your internal organs warm and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I think your body burns a ton of calories. So people for like our age, getting chunky is like, you're really not doing a whole lot. Yeah, you got to be pretty lazy. To and you got to be boozing. Unless, unless you were just naturally chunky all True. the way through. If you it's know? genetic, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's, I definitely know guys who are just built like O-linemen, and that's just, oh, yeah. it's just how they're going But I know, I know guys I went to high school with that are doing concrete, and they just got big just from drinking. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, just boozing at night? Oh, yeah, you know. Getting boozing on, that on the weekends. Train. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Getting the old keg. Is, uh, is concrete uh, like a very, like, blue-collar, kind of a harsh lifestyle? Uh, it's It's... It's pretty intense. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, you I, like love, it? I love it, dude. I love it. I tried to be a carpenter for about a year, and I switched back over. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I just I like when we're demoing. You you do a lot of lifting. Like, oh yeah. You don't really have to work out a ton. True. Yeah. No. So like, yeah, and you're on your hands and knees all. It's pretty hard on the body. Yeah. Yeah. I but, worked for a moving company for a while, and that's kind of how I felt. Like I was burning. Like some, I mean, you're just. You're going into somebody's house, carrying out a couch. Going right. into somebody's house, carrying out a love seat. Yep. Going into, you know, going, going to somebody's house. house, carrying out a TV. Exactly. Going in their it's house. just, yeah. it's like eight hours straight of just like, yeah, walking, carrying, walking, carrying, mm -hmm. and that's all it is. And so I never, like, I'd get home from work at four o'clock, and I'd be just gassed. Right. So I didn't feel like I needed to work out. I was burning calories in good shape. So jobs like that, I don't think you really have to hit a gym. No, I mean you can if you, you can. want to. Yeah, you can but get big. But you, yeah, like if you just go there and you see what, like, oh, you see a big ass piece of concrete, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna see if I can lift that into the bucket. I'm gonna see if I can deadlift. Yeah. This. And then if you got downtime and you're just sitting there, you can just curl stuff, or you can, you know, do a bunch chunks of chunks of concrete. Yes, dude, literally, I swear to you. Yes. Are guys doing that on sites? N no, I've done it. I I've done yeah, it. I've done I can it. see yes. you doing no, it. No, I've done it. Yeah. Just sitting there, like. I'll be sitting there with a buggy. They'll tell me to hold off, and I have, like, mud in my buggy. So I'm, like, just sitting there waiting. I'll just sit there and just shrug it. <laughs> just get the shoulders a little workout. Just sh sit there shrugging it. Yeah. Eight. Nine. nine. Oh, you ready? I'm yeah. coming. Right. Four more. I got four more. You trying to get Hang this on. machine? I, I got a super set going. <laughs> yeah. Give me 15 minutes. Too funny. Oh, that's um, real good. My last hot take. Horses aren't pretty. Can agree, but I can't agree to disagree. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like, I, like I agree because like I don't know their faces aren't super pretty. They're not but, pretty, like, dude. They are majestic animals. They're, they're very they're, majestic. They're, they're pretty. They're pretty amazing. They're amazing. Yes. But I look at them more as like like I don't think horses are as pretty as like dogs or like as cute as dogs. Oh no! Like not even no. close. Mm -mm. Horses are awesome because they're so muscular and they like yeah. serve a crazy purpose for yes. us. But multiple purposes are they pretty mm. are they i mean i even look at it as like are they prettier than a cow not really in my opinion <laughs> yes yes they are <laughs> yes. just because they're a little yes, bit cleaner they are. yes they are i don't know man have you ever been to a horse show uh yeah, yeah have you yeah. ever seen like the the competition who has like the nicest horse yeah you can't tell me those horses aren't pretty they're like trotting around and pooping <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They're just all right, all right, all right, all right. That's besides the point. You can't tell me that the horses that like they come out looking all like got their uh, fur braided hair, yeah. hair, hair fur, hair. whatever, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah. hair. Yeah. yeah, sorry, horse girls. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm not trying to offend anybody. <laughs> right, right. But all braided and looking nice, and you can't tell me that the horse doesn't look pretty. Yeah, it looks. It does. It looks kind of pretty. It's not like you need to get a close up and be like, okay, the face looks like okay, we're not wearing any makeup. Their faces are just like so long, and right. like when they like show their teeth. Have you ever seen horse teeth? Oh yeah, they're disgusting. <laughs> gross. They're so gross. They're so There's gross. There's like four in the front and four on the bottom, and that's they're like just, all they have. And they just open up the lips. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I I know I'm probably offending a couple horse girls out there, but. I just don't think they're that pretty. I don't know. I think they're awesome. I think awesome. horses are pretty. You're yeah. good. Yeah, you're, think, good. You're, good. you're good. You're good. You got Nathan. <laughs> you're good. No, there are just there are guys out there that think horses are pretty. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my Tinder bio like I like horses. And oh, then just get flooded. More likes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did that hurt? That was yeah. loud. <laughs> Smoked my thumb on the table. Oh. Genuine. Uh, yeah, that's some sturdy. That's sturdy wood. It's good wood. Pause. It's good wood. Pause. This is really good wood. Good to the touch. <laughs> All right, you got your last hot take. Um, oh God, I had it. Mm. Then we keep getting a little sidetracked. Mm -hmm. What is it? Oh, backtrack. Because you told me yes. before we started. Yes. Um, yours were olives. Olives are gross. Um, what was your second one? Jeans are better than cargo shorts. Jeans are better than cargo shorts, and uh, you don't. Uh, yeah, 
music. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yep. Ah, don't like Drake. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Not a fan I of Drake. I had no idea that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> None. No idea. How shocked are you? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so shocked. You don't like Drake? Yeah, what? what? Drake? Yeah. No, Drake? I think he's annoying. Not a fan. Personality or music? Mm, he has some, he has like two or three decent songs. Yeah. And then, but like the other ones, I'm not a huge fan of. Yeah. His personality annoys me. His personality is a bit off putting to me too. It's just not it. Something about it. I mean, he's cool, yeah. I, and I like his music. I think more than you, so I might give him a, yeah. a more of a pass. But mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Something about it. Like he just seems a bit too much in his head. Right. Which I don't blame him fully because right. when you're that big and you got a platform. Probably the biggest music artist of all time. Mm. It goes to your head. Right. But from a dude who's just on ground floor, mm -hmm. kind of annoying. Like, <laughs> 100%. Chill out. Taylor Swift of rap. Yeah. Taylor Swift <laughs> is, uh, yeah. you'd be uh, pleasing my dad right now. He is not a Taylor Swift guy. <sighs> he does not like her. You know, I, there's a couple songs. Same as Drake. So that's a your, couple. That's your comparison. Yeah. For a female artist, would be Taylor Swift. Yeah, the Drake, 100%. What do you think about the whole T Swift and Travis Kelsey thing? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think I, I don't know. I don't know. Do you think they're like actually dating or do you think they're doing it for both Listening. their own goods? Um, I think I think they're dating. You think so? I do. Because seeing the videos of like her in the suites, she looks like a high school girl. Yeah. It's like she had a lot famous. of passion when he scored. She has a lot of passion for the team that he's on. And she was jacked up. Yeah. hundred yeah. percent. And then like I saw a video of her and Blake Lively like standing next to each other. Mm -hmm. And she like leaned over and said something to Blake. And then she was like laughing and she like kind of hit her on the side. Or oh, whatever. It's yeah. like right back to high school where yeah. like the girls see the captain of the football team and they're like going crazy, you know, kind yeah. of thing. It looked yeah. like that. So I think it's genuine more than it's not. But I think Travis Kelsey's also buying into it a little bit because yeah. he got 300,000 followers on Instagram the night that she came to his game. Yeah, and then his like, jersey sales went up like a crazy amount. Crazy what, amount. what percent was it? Wasn't it like a... Like it, 300, 400 yeah, percent or something it was like that? Way 200, up there. 200 percent or something? Yeah, yeah they it, shot up. It, yeah, yeah, insane amount. You're getting a ton of people buying Travis Kelsey jerseys who are just Taylor Swift fans. Right, right. And there's like people getting customized jerseys of Ke uh, of Kelsey Swift. and then putting Swifty on yeah. the back. Like, that's that's cringe. Dude, I saw two people in Minnesota Vikings jerseys that said Swifty on the back. No. I was like, that doesn't no. even make sense. No, no. You shouldn't even be putting it on a Chiefs jersey, but it, putting right. it on a Vikings jersey, that doesn't make sense no, at and all. It's, it's just too much. Like, I think it's just too much for the NFL. It's just taking away from football, you know? I think the NFL itself is eating it up, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, making, yeah, because they're making bank off it, too. Because oh, yeah. who makes the jerseys? Yeah, they do. Yes, yeah. Exactly. J not, e not even just the jerseys. People are showing up to these Chiefs games now just to see Taylor Swift. Yeah, and like yeah, just and the, see her up in the booth. When they when they when uh, Kansas City came to Minnesota, there was a a line of people asking if Taylor Swift was at the game, like at the information booth. Really? Yeah. So like you're probably getting a lot of like guys are going to the games and then they're talking to their wives like, hey, Taylor Swift might go. So like, do you want to go? Yeah, it's another ticket. I mean. <laughs> I can't, can't, can't blame the guy, you know. <laughs> no, <laughs> can't I blame can't. the guy. No, me neither. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, use it. Use <laughs> exactly. It. If it's there, you want to go see Taylor Swift? Yeah. All right, we're going, to Kansas, we're going to Kansas City. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <right. laughs> Pack your bags. We're going to Missouri. Yep. Let's go. All right. Um, all right. That was hot takes. Uh, two truths and a lie. So the classic. I'm gonna give you three different. What are they based on? I think it's arena football. It's all yeah, arena it football. Was. Yeah, it yeah. was. Yeah. Did I did I send you the three questions too? No, no, there was blank. Oh, I just said arena football. Yeah, yep. Okay, cool, good. Yep. All right, sweet. So here's your first one. I'll read them all three, and then you can tell me which one you think is a lie. First one is the concept of arena football was started when the creator of the league was watching an indoor soccer game. Oh, you're going deep. I'm going deep. You're going deep. We're you good. might get me on this one. Yeah, we might. You might. Next one. More players have died as a result of injury in arena football than the NFL since 1970. More people have died. Yeah. Because of injury. Okay. As a result of injury, I guess. And the first one was uh, he got inspired from watching an indoor soccer game, right? Correct. Yep. Okay. And okay. then here's your third one. Okay. The concept of Iron Man, which is playing both offense and defense, was not allowed in the early years of arena football. Okay. No, that one's the truth. No. Wait, what, what was it? What was it again? The concept of Iron Man was not allowed in the early years of arena football. That was a lie. That is a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. And then because... And, 
the uh the deaths actually really do, it doesn't surprise me yeah because uh it, it's way it's a lot faster pace and a shorter field and a shorter field yep. and everybody's more compact and everybody's going at full speed almost all the time yeah and the touchdowns are smaller aren't they yep and then the ground is harder too because it's not like actual turf you yeah. can't wear cleats it's, oh, really? ast it's astroturf so what do you wear so you have to wear like uh you know like the soccer soccer shoes oh, like, like that the have plastic flat tips yeah, no no oh. tips oh. it has to be flat and then just have nice grip like you can wear like uh, I know like what you're talking about. Turfs, like softball yeah. turfs. Yeah, you yeah. could wear those. Like indoor soccer cleats. Yep, yep. Yeah, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, 100 percent Interesting. Yep. I didn't know that. Um, it was a little bit surprising to me about just the deaths because there's less people in the arena football, less games, I'm assuming, than the NFL. Yeah. I don't think it's 18 weeks. Is there 17 weeks? No, it's it, uh, I think it was it, in the CIF the league that I played in, I think it was like twelve or thirteen. Okay. So yeah, so. like less games, uh less people on the field. Like you'd think but, I know it is a more fast-paced game, probably yeah. just because it's more compact. And the injury rate is insane. Is it? It is. Our like, guys going out like every game. Oh yeah, all the time. People are going down. Dang. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Like uh, this last year that I played, uh, when my agent got me out there and I went and played, he's like, "Just be careful. A lot of people get injured. That you don't see a lot of people make it through the whole season." Holy playing. cow! Like, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I, that really doesn't surprise me, but like, it does. And then when I stepped onto the field for the first time, like. I stepped on the one that had like a foam padding underneath, but the home field in Rapid City didn't have like a foam padding, so Oof. it's just like running on carpet oh. with, with with concrete and getting underneath. Tackled? Oh yeah, getting tackled on carpet would be way worse yeah, than getting tackled like, on grass. Yeah, but like I kept myself all covered up. Like I wore Smart. the knee pads. I wore the oh god, yeah. I kept I kept myself safe. And usually, if I know if I'm about to get smacked, I'm going down. Yeah. Like I ain't trying to stay up and get hit by seven dudes. Man. I'm trying to have longevity in this league. Exactly. Yeah, I thought the uh, so the the actual. The stat that I had read was the concept of Ironman was encouraged mm -hmm. in the beginning of the oh, league. Yeah, hundred percent. Because the budgets were so low that you almost needed guys who could play offense and defense yep. to keep your numbers down on the team. Yeah, which is crazy. Yeah, but I mean, it's come a long way. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, ever since Kurt Warner kind of came out and into the NFL and he became a Hall of Famer, arena cut got huge, and then all the other leagues started. And That's dope. Doing stuff like that. And I know so. there's guys like, who is it? Uh, Fifty Cent is really no, no. He does three on three basketball. Yeah. The Rock? No. Antonio Brown was in it. The oh, Rock. Yeah. Yep. And then The Rock does the XFL. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Interesting. And Antonio Brown just got cut out of that, I think. Yeah, he did. He was like the Albany Empire's owner. Yep. Yeah, yeah he, he was part, partial owner, and then they cut him out because he was kind of going crazy, I think. Well, or he, he wasn't doing something correctly, yeah, like financially. He, yeah, no, probably not. He's a little... The dude's a little... He's a loose in the skull. He, yeah, he's got a little loose screw up there. Yeah, a couple sure. of them, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think he might be missing some bolts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Poor guy. That's all right. It happens. Well, good work on two truths and a lie. Uh, we're going to take one more break, and then we'll finish up with Cuter Cringe. All right, we're back. We got one more segment to get through. We got Cuter Cringe. All right. So this is how it works. I'm going to give you a couple different variables uh, or topics. And you say cute, you like it, or cringe, you don't like it. All right. Here's your first one. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> cute or cringe, Eddie Brown. Eddie Brown. All right. I'll, I'll give him a cute just because uh, <laughs> arena football player, one of the best. Uh, what you what you told me. <laughs> what you, I knew nothing about this guy before he told me about him. But what you told me, he was one of the best athletes or football players to not go pro. Yeah. Or not go like to a mainstream NFL team yeah, or exactly. big time. Yep. Exactly. So, always got to respect that other person. For if, sure. Yeah. Is arena football considered pro football? It is. Yeah. Yep, it's professional. You just don't get uh, paid as much as the NFL guys mm -hmm. and the big guys that like get sponsorships, like playing on uh, TV, playing yeah. on like NFL network and yeah. sh uh, shit like that. So, like so. a guy, a guy who's playing arena football. Do you know who the best is right now? Right now, it uh, the best in my league. It was the, it was uh, the quarterback from Omaha Beef. I can't remember his name, but he was really good in college. He, I think he was like a Heisman. I don't know if he was a Heisman Trophy winner. Heisman candidate, maybe he was a Heisman candidate. I know that. Dang, he was super good. Didn't get picked up. No, That's crazy. And, but he wants to go pro. So, and how much money do you think he's making on a year? Probably close to fifteen hundred a game. Oh, really? Yeah. And then you play 12 games a year? Yep, and then play every weekend. You get paid on the bye weeks, too. Wow. Yep. So he's making good and money. If you, yeah, and I'm guessing that their team has bonuses and stuff, so you get touchdown bonuses. So he could be making up to two, 
two grand, twenty five hundred bucks. Wow! Especially if like they win, he throws five touchdowns. He does that. Like, yeah. have you ever seen the Kurt Warner movie? Have you ever seen Underdog? No. If you watch that movie and you see like, because he throws a touchdown in the movie, and then he the uh, GM says that's an extra hundred fifty bucks. Yeah. Towards your paycheck. Yeah. Right? And he goes, oh, really? I Like, I get paid based off my stats? Like, I get these bonuses? And he's yeah. like, yeah, you get one if you win, too. He And then he goes out there and throws seven touchdowns. Oh, really? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he, he just started. That's, like, how Kurt Warner, like, got known. Like, he was getting paid for every touchdown he yeah. threw in that league. So he league. was just slinging them. Yes. And he was getting paid for the yardage. And he was getting Man. paid for the wins. And he was so he was getting paid. But that's, like, the underlining, like, you don't see. Like, you know a guy's getting a paycheck, but you don't know that he's getting bonuses on top of it almost True. every game. That's why he was playing so lights out. Dang. That's so interesting. Right? I got to watch that underdog movie now. I know my yeah. brother saw it, and he said it was really good. It's a really good movie. Yeah. It's very good. I'll check it out. Kurt, Kurt Warner is a stud. Yeah, he's awesome. So Hall then, of Famer. Did he go from arena football to he St. Went, Louis? Uh, yes. He went from arena football to the NFL. Okay. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, no, and then he, did he go back after he was done, or did he uh, just no? Retire he retired because he he was a Hall of Famer. Yeah, so he's a Hall of Fame quarterback. He played oh, until stud. he got older. He was he was awesome. Yeah, I mean, he played in the early two thousands. I think he played just late two thousands too, didn't he? Um, yeah, he was with like I, I'm pretty sure he played with Marshall Falk for a couple of years. Yeah, he was definitely the in the Madden two thousand three game. Yep, and then he played for the Cardinals too. Yeah, he did. Yep, yep. yep. yeah, yeah. He was a stud, dude. Yeah, he's awesome. All right, uh, your next cuter cringe, black licorice. Oh. Cringe. There's Disgusting. another food you don't like. <laughs> you just don't like uh, black olives, black licorice. <laughs> it's kind of seem like you better, you. <laughs> let, be careful with your next nice words, dude. <laughs> be careful with your next nice words. Sounds like you have a problem with the color. No, 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 no. I like black. Yeah. <laughs> I, like black. Lo I love black. No. I love, love. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. You're making me freak out, man. <laughs> Damn. No. That's so funny. Yeah, no, black licorice is disgusting. You don't it like is, it at all? No, it's just gross. It doesn't, it's just, yeah. I'd rather eat regular licorice. Same. That's what the worst candy, black licorice. Yeah, and probably. I, you, nobody likes it. Is it cute for you? Nah, I would say, I would say cute slash cringe. Ooh, Because I don't hate it. I don't mind it, actually. I kind of like it. Red flag. But I don't love it. Like, I would never take it over red licorice. No, never. No. Never. It's but not with, as good. like, I guess if somebody asks you, do you want a piece of black licorice? Are you going to say yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I can't do it. I'm, can't do I will it. say ick. Ick. Get that out of my Get face. Get that out my face. <laughs> I don't want none of that. Oh, none of that. I grew up on, uh, my mom loves Good and Plenty's. What's that? It's like a black licorice candy. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I would eat some of hers whenever she was like working in her studio. Mm -hmm. And I think early on, I, I still am kind of like, eh, it's okay. It's fine. Yeah. I'm not even a big candy guy though. So yeah. like. Oh, I love candy. Do you? I love candy. Is that your, your soft spot? Sour, Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Ooh, Kids. I can never say no. Or like those sour trolleys. Those are good. Those worms. Those are sour worms. Those are good. What do you? What's your favorite candy then? My favorite Patch? candy. Sour Patch Kids or Sour Skittles? Oh, so yeah, you yeah. love sour. Yeah, big sour fan. Big fan. Ooh, Warheads, dude. Ooh, oh, so I love so good. Warheads. So good. I don't know why I love them, but I think it's I think it's similar to like people who really love spicy foods, right? I I'm think, a fan of spicy food, though. Oh, too. okay. Yeah. I, I like the flavor of spicy food, but I can't handle the heat. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know what it is, but I understand I why I people can. like it. I think I can handle the heat sometimes. Yeah. I understand why. Like, a spicy food tastes really good. It is good. Just, like, the aftermath and the burn. And, like, it's just, like if it's really spicy, it'll like you'll still feel the burn on, yeah. like, the back of your tongue for, yeah. like, an hour. Yeah. And it's just so bad. Not Nothing helps. Like you, you ever, try to drink milk. <laughs> yeah, it does, does not help. Does not help. <laughs> I've always said it too. Like you know that they always say like don't drink water when you eat spicy foods. Yeah. I don't buy that. I do. Water works too. No, it doesn't. It does. <laughs> no, it does you, not. It, to, it doesn't work as good as milk does though. It doesn't work as good as milk. But they say that when you drink water, the water spreads the oil around your mouth so that it it gets hotter or like it covers more and surface I've, area. I've felt that. Really? Yes, I don't get that. I have felt that. I'll just hold water in my mouth when I have something really hot. Ooh, it seems to help. Really? I, I don't drink water if like it's something super hot. I have to drink like milk or juice. Milk? Yeah. Cranberry Maybe. cranberry juice. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of cranberry juice, but I will drink it if my mouth is on fire. Yeah. Because that tartness will take it out. Mm. And it's, at least it works for me. I don't know I if that's like cranberry a fact. juice. Cranberry juice is okay. It's, it's not my drink of choice. I'd rather go with like apple juice or grape juice. Same probably. Yeah, same. I would go apple juice or grape juice for sure right. first. But I like cranberry juice. Yeah. I would actually probably rather take juice over soda. Ooh, that's, yeah. Are I, you a soda I, guy? I, I am, but I do like, I like juice. I like juice a I lot. I love lemonade. Oh, lemonade I love lemonade. Super, I, like, I like a good home style made lemonade is good. And it, like 
I like sweet lemonade. Mm. So like it doesn't have to like have that tartness to it. I like the sweeter homemade style lemonade. So you like sweet and sour, but you don't love tart. Mm, not a fan. <laughs> We no, it's, down. Weird. it's just weird. Look at look at us go, <laughs> look at dude. Us go. Look at how productive we are. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Here's your next cuter cringe. Star Wars. Star Wars. Ooh, cute. I love Star Wars. Do you? Yeah. Do you Wars. have a favorite movie franchise? Uh mm, I like the first one a lot. Mm. The first one's probably like first the, Star Wars. Yeah, the first Star Wars. So like that whole franchise was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. More so like Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Harry Potter. Those would be like franchises. Yeah. Which one, like, what do you have a favorite one? Like The Matrix or oh, Ocean's Eleven? Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is my favorite franchise for really? sure. Really? I was thinking about doing Lord of the Rings, but I think I just did it for one of the previous episodes. Yeah, I have a Frodo sword at my house. Do you? I do. <laughs> I do. And if that thing ever glows blue, dude, oh, mm. you're getting the fastest Snapchat you've ever seen. Yeah. I'm like, somebody's about to get. You're going to have to bleep this out. But somebody's about to get. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we will bleep those out. But I knew exactly where it was going. Right. right. <laughs> what does the blue mean again? Does that just mean it means orcs, orcs are around? around? Yeah. yeah, that's it what means I thought. Orcs are around. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. No, Lord of the Rings for sure. Like that's sold favorite franchise. Really? Yeah. Like, and then even going into the Hobbit series, I love the Hobbits. Did you? Yeah. I, I never mean, saw anything past the first Hobbit. Oh, really? You Isn't got there two you more? Should, yeah. You should see the next. Uh, I think the the second one is right after the first Hobbit. Yeah. Is the first Hobbit's about uh, Bobo Baggins, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Bilbo. Yeah. Yep. And then Bilbo Baggins. Yeah. 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 There's th two two of them for sure. I know. After that. Oh yeah. yeah or total. Yeah. yeah. I think there's two of them. I'm not sure if there's a third one. Three Lord of the Rings. I thought there was three Hobbits, though. I think, there I think is, there's maybe. more than three Lord of the Rings. No. Is there? Uh-uh. No, Are you no. sure? You got Fellowship of the Ring. Yep. Uh, the, the two Towers. Two Towers. And then the... Uh, what's the last one? No, I think it's three. You, they're I all thought like, there was four. I don't think so, man. <laughs> You're probably right on it, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I could be wrong. Uh, did you read the books? Maybe there's more books. I did not. Oh, okay. No. There's three movies. Uh, Fellowship okay, of the Ring, yeah. The Two, Two Towers. Towers, and The Return of the King. Okay, yeah, yeah. Return of the King is probably the best one. I love yeah. that one. Which is kind of a shock because a lot of the times when you watch multiple movies, if there's like a, a, a sequel to, mm -hmm. the sequel is almost always worse. Yes. Like it just gets worse and worse as the movies go Lord on. Lord of the Rings got better and better. I think it... It probably did. It did. I, I might it really go, did. I'd probably go three, one, two. And if you do watch Lord of the Rings, it starts out pretty slow. It you is slow. Give it a chance, though. It's best movie franchise. It's great. I mean, if it's a close to a four-hour movie, it's got to be a little bit slow. Yeah. Like it's like a long you're movie. You're getting all the detail. Yeah. All the detail. They're they're kind of giving you all the information you need to know though for the second and third movie. Right. So it's ne like a necessity or it's necessary, but. It is a bit slow. I get why people fall off after the first one. Hundred percent. Yeah. And I can I could not believe I thought there was four with it being my favorite franchise. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, there's, I think there's four of them. Yeah. I'm not sure. Is there nine? I don't there's know. I just remember them. watching like all of them in like a week, and then I just watched the first three, and then I moved on to the Hobbit series. So I was like, I don't know. And then the the new one, the new one about the rings, the start of the uh, oh, Rings yeah. of Power. Yeah, yeah. Ring of Power. Yep. Or something like that. Isn't that going to be a TV show? Series? No, I think it's a movie. Is it a movie? I think so. I think it already came out. Too. I thought they were doing the thing that Game of Thrones did where they like, um, well, I know Game of Thrones was a TV show too, but yep. they had the House of the Dragons or whatever. Yep. I thought that's House what they were Drag doing for the yeah. Lord of the Rings. No, I think they just made another movie on it. Interesting. I think it was just about the seven rings that were first made. Because I... in the last one, that's just the one ring of power left, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I would definitely go see that movie. Oh, 100%. I think, it, I think it's out. Is it? Yeah, I think so. If you want... It, yeah, let's if look it you up. want to correct me, go ahead and look it up. New but, Lord of the Rings movie. Yeah, just look up Rings of Power or something. Because I thought it came out. The War of the Ra Ro he Hiram. Does that sound right? No. We'll take us back to Middle Earth on the big screen in 2024. We've got to wait a little bit longer for the much anticipated new movie in August 2023. Oh, is that a different one? Uh, yeah, I think that's... Uh, that's Rings of Power. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. Because I think it's about the Lord of the Rings ring. And then, because there were seven of them that were made, came out a month ago. Really? Yeah. Sweet. So we could probably we should watch go it. see it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> we should go see it for sure. And it is a show. It's a show. It's a show. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought it was a movie. Uh, I only saw like uh, some commercials on it or yeah, something like that. Yeah, this series so. brings to screens for the fir very first time the heroic legends of the fabled Second Age of Middle Earth's history. This epic drama is set thousands of years before the event of J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. Ooh. 
So it's like, oh yeah, it's yeah. way before, way yeah. before. It's probably focusing a lot on like the creation of the rings. Yeah, the when they were forged yep. and doing all that stuff, and what like how what gave it what gave it power, how yeah. it got its power. Yep, probably breaks everything down into that. That might be, be a, it. Might be a TV show. I might be interested in. I might watch it tonight, actually. Right. Uh, how many episodes? Do you know how many oh episodes gosh. just came out? It came out a year ago, actually. Okay, I thought so. so. <laughs> I th I thought it was way older because I thought I saw that commercial a long time ago. I thought it said September first of twenty twenty three, and I was like, oh, it came out a month ago. No, twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Everybody, everybody watching, and I was like, how many? Dude, is there is there yeah. only one season? Yes. Yeah. Episodes released in more than two hundred forty countries and territories at the same time as the U.S. Lord of the Rings season two. Let's see what it says. Um, doesn't have a release date. June of twenty twenty three. So if it hasn't come out by now, I, I bet you they got shut down. Oh yeah, canceled. probably. I wouldn't doubt it. But there's one season for sure. One season out for sure. Where can you watch it? <laughs> Seems like a sponsorship. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mind. <laughs> if you guys want to sponsor the episode, feel yeah, free. Go to. ahead. Lord I of the will, Rings. I'll show you my uh, Frodo sword. Yeah, there we go. There you go. And if it turns blue. Works her around. Keep the cameras rolling. <laughs> yeah, keep the cameras rolling. <laughs> yeah, it's out. It's on. You can watch it on Prime Video. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Per yeah, I might watch this tonight. I'm not seeing a whole lot of big names in it, but. No? What? Any, any reviews, ratings? Um, 7 out of 10 on IMDb and 83% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's not too bad. That's not bad, actually. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'll be watching that tonight. Yeah, I'll, I might give it a shot. I'll watch the first episode. You watch the first episode, I'll shoot you a text when I finish it. All right, perfect. Dope. Sounds good. After the Twins game. After the Twins game. Yes. Cute or cringe? Twins. Oh, cute. Love the Twins. So. Oh, wait, wait. Twins I, team or I, like no. Twins Twins? Twins Twins. Oh, that's a, that's a good one. That <laughs> is a really good one. That was that crazy really how it one. played into it. Yeah, it's it's yeah. actually the next one after Star Wars. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So twin like Twins siblings Minnesota Twins? Minnesota Twins, cute. Yep. Siblings Twins? Yeah. Can't say cringe. <laughs> can't say I cringe. I can't say cringe. I lo I love being a twin. Dude. Yeah. It, like the just the fact of like always growing up and having a best friend that's your age that's Built pretty in. much always like down to do something that you're gonna do. True. And it's just you guys all like we have the same likes. We also have dislikes, and mm -hmm. we always just figured out like a happy medium. Me and me and Austin, my twin brother Austin Cromie. Shout out to you, shout big out dog. Yes, watch right now. Yeah, Appreciate if you're it, watching. If you want to sponsor the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. a money grab. I'm a money grab. <laughs> yeah, just like sponsorship, sponsorship. Sponsor? Anybody want to pay us? Anybody want to sponsor? Sponsor? Wanna give me money for, for talking on a show, please. <laughs> come, on, yeah. come on. Anyway, Austin. Uh, yeah, uh, just being a twin is awesome. It's just it's great. Always having a best friend. Always having someone to do something with. You're never alone. True. So, uh, was he big into arena football? Uh, I was. I, so he was a huge basketball player. He was oh. really good at basketball. Okay. I, I was the football player. Are I, you guys built similar? Yeah, like yeah. I'm similar? just a little. I'm just a little bigger. He's just taller. You know. <laughs> what does he do for work? Office. We job? work together. Oh, construction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, so you just yep. got the, a little bit better genetics. Yeah, no. Nah, and I had the, and when I was out in Rapid City playing for the Marshals, I had all that had like all that to my access, like free True. weight, sh well, True. free weight, well, yeah. we, we, we. He started over and went backwards. Hang on, let me rewind here. Yeah. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Free weight room. Yep. <laughs> there we go. I got it. Yes. That's a tough Free word. weight room. And then, yeah. like, I could go to every day, I could go and do like physical therapy, like, with my um, trainer and get like, uh, get like muscles if they were tight. She'd oh, like yeah, loosen yeah. them up and like give me like PT to do at like at my uh, where I stayed. Yeah. At my house. And when I did that, I so I have like weak ankles, and she would all, she actually helped me a lot because she'd make me walk like on my toes back and forth across the room, and then on my heels back. Smart. And then and then she'd make me stand like on a pillow, balance on one foot, and then my my hand coordination was pretty good, so I, like I stayed balanced. Yeah. As soon as she made me close my eyes, I could not stand there more than <laughs> like ten seconds. Fall so, over. Yeah. So I had that all to my uh, to my access, and I just utilized used it, it, utilized yeah. it, and got a little bigger. So. So then, uh, did he ever try to pursue like a basketball career? Oh uh, yeah, he played semi-pro basketball for a while, and then he wanted to no. go and do some overseas tryouts, but he's just never got around to that point. And then he had a uh, he was going to go to St. Mary's to play basketball, mm. but never uh, never ended up going. Just went to work and just does what he does. Yeah, plays basketball league in the winter and stuff. We play together and oh, nice. have a blast. So. Who's older? 
Austin is by two minutes. Ah, uh, you gotcha. Two Doesn't matter. <laughs> Does not matter. Dude. Does he ever pull that on you? Yeah. Like I'm and not as much you. anymore, but like when we were younger. Like, like I'm older. Like we we get left at home by like by ourselves. We're like I'm two minutes older. <laughs> I'm in charge. Yeah. You're like I, right, dude, shut up. Shut like up. come on, man. Shut like up. you're really gonna use yeah. that? They just grabbed you first. <laughs> right. I'm two minutes older. I get to play the PlayStation oh, first. Oh shoot. Bullshit. I get the bigger portion. I'm older. Yeah. yeah. No. I'm, two I'm, minutes. No. Little rat. Exactly. Austin, if you're watching, you're a rat. <laughs> <laughs> I've never met you. I'm sure you're a nice dude. <laughs> All right, here's your next one. Cute or cringe, back to food. Candy corn. Cringe. Cringe. Yeah, I do not like candy corn. Me neither. Not a fan. I don't know why people like it. No, it's not And then they try, to like, uh, they try to justify it by putting it in a bowl with peanuts and saying, like, well, if you eat them together, it's, like, decent or whatever. No, it's like I, I would literally just eat the peanuts. Same. I'm good. I won't eat candy corn. I'm not a fan. Nope. Not a fan. Do you have a reasoning for it? Uh, that I don't like it. Yeah, like is it just like just the texture? Like, is it like not, taste? I'm not a big t like uh texture doesn't usually get me okay. too bad. Like even mushrooms, I don't yep. dislike mushrooms because of, of a texture. Yeah, a lot of people do. Which uh, I've heard, and yep. I get it, but I don't. Textures don't bother me. It's yeah. mushrooms taste funny to me. Okay, so yeah, like, I get I get that candy corn uh consistency or or texture doesn't bother me. It's literally just the flavor. It's like it's. Disgusting. I feel like a, I feel like a chick when I eat them. I'm always like, it's not worth the calories. <laughs> I, I, I just don't want it. Yeah. It's not good. It's not worth the sugar. I'd rather just eat like a Snickers. <laughs> yeah, literally, I would rather have six Snickers than. I'd rather have it. anything but yeah. candy corn, and besides black black olive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say black olive. Would you rather nope, have black good. olive. I'm good. Would you take? Oh, here's a good one. Black licorice or candy corn? Mm, candy corn. Candy corn. <laughs> candy corn. Just because it doesn't taste like. Death. <laughs> it's so funny. It's, at the beginning of the podcast, we started out by saying, I'm not a picky eater. And then I literally named the four foods that you don't like. Literally. <laughs> like the only literally. Four. Literally. You name anything else and I probably will yeah. like it. I probably <laughs> so will. Funny. Like, not even kidding. Oh, that's that's funny. Just super good. <laughs> yeah, good job. Dude. Thanks. Hey, yeah. well, Way to do your homework. Yeah, do my homework. <laughs> yeah. I know a lot about Chromie. <laughs> uh, here's your last one to wrap up the episode. Cuter cringe, messy buns. Messy buns? On a chip. Yeah. Very cute. I love that. You like the the casual look, like sweatpants, hoodie, yeah. messy bun? Yeah. Netflix yeah, be on. Comfortable. Yeah, be comfortable. I, I don't, baby. Like, seriously, be <laughs> comfortable. Like, I like a woman that's comfortable around me. I don't want them to always think they have to look good for me. Yeah, true. If it, like, and sometimes that's even better looking, to, in my personal opinion. Messy buns, sweatpants, you're just comfortable, ready to sit on the couch. Yeah. Watch a movie. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. 100%. I don't think girls believe us when we say this, but genuinely, more times than not, I like a girl with no makeup on. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Like yeah, no makeup, or, and like, like you can tell, like when a woman wears a lot of makeup. Oh yeah, and, and you, you know can girls. tell, yes, and you can tell the girls that'll be like, okay, she's gonna probably be good looking without makeup because you know that, yeah, she doesn't wear a ton. Yeah, you know, yeah, definitely. They, it doesn't. If like if they put a, um, like enough makeup on where they still look like themselves, like go for it. Yeah, but I like don't mind. caking and stuff. It's like you could we can we can tell that ladies we could we can tell when you're caked up. Yeah. That's about it. Big time. But yeah. It's, it's 100%. pretty pretty evident. And you know mm -hmm. girls, I'm sure you know a girl like this too where anytime you see them out they're caked up. Yeah, 100%. Like anytime. And I don't, I don't see why you want to do that, isn't it? Like uncomfortable, especially like if you're in like a hot room in a like really busy environment with yeah. a bunch of people, don't yeah. you like sweat? You're doesn't it? Don't you like and you can't like wipe because you feel like you're going to mm. mess it up, you mm -hmm. know? I never thought about that. Right, I touch my face a decent amount. Exactly, actually. like when you're in, when you're like at like a nightclub and you're dancing and stuff, and you have a bunch of people around, you're always <laughs> wiping your forehead. Yeah. Or like, yeah. it's hot. Yeah, hot. True. I gotta go outside get some fresh for air. Real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for yeah. real. I've never thought about right. that. Girls can't wipe their faces, and unless they can, unless like they have makeup where it doesn't remove like that. I don't know. I feel like I guess I don't know how makeup. But works. I've never really <laughs> seen like a, a girl in the like at like in, place like that with people and nah. they wipe their face no nah, you always see a dude take off his hat and wipe his forehead oh yeah every but you time you don't really see chicks like no like or even like Maybe. wipe under the eyelid or like yeah to get it off the forehead or something you don't really see that interesting do right? women women probably sweat less than us don't they yeah i think so i think that's a fact is it i think so proven here let's look maybe unless like do women a sweating sweat disorder i think less than men i know 90 percent of women sweat less than i do men produce more sweat per gland than women do I, I did so. know a chick though who had. I actually we dated for a little while. She had Not a, a boy. She had a sweating issue. Yeah, he, he, she's pretty self conscious about it. And I was like, cringe, sweat. It <laughs> doesn't really bother me that much. Good man. Good I mean, man. I'm, not, I'm not licking people's foreheads oh, in a bad. nightclub. But yeah, no, you're not like that. No, nah. no. Well, why would it? It's Smell just like, bothers me more than sweat. Understand. If you're super sweaty, that's fine. I'll even probably give you a hug. Like yeah. I don't really mind it. I don't it doesn't really bother care me. Like that. Yeah. 
But if you're stanky, keep your distance. <laughs> Some dudes smell like they've never seen a shower before. Oh, yeah. Like, like you smell like butt. You know, I'm deodorant like, is a thing, right? Yeah. Like, it, it, it's, long it's there to, like, make your sweat, not yeah. smell. I know, you, uh, you know you're kind of doing your own thing, but you ever tried deodorant? Like, body wash, maybe. Body wash. It's like, they they yeah. do things for that, my boy. Yeah, my boy. <laughs> my boy, water, my boy. Right? <laughs> Come on, now. Just take a rinse, man. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't know. I think that's... Do you have, like, a... Uh, a pet peeve that pretty much is a blanket statement for like all people. It's just like, I just cannot stand that. Like people chewing loud or like people who bite their nails or people who like shake their legs all the time. Uh, what, I I have not thought about this in a while. Yeah. I didn't I really prep you for this yeah, one. This right. is kind of I haven't really thought about this in a while. A pet peeve of mine. Uh, uh, chewing with the mouth open probably would be and like, especially gum. Mm. Like when I can hear the smacking of the gum, like bothers you. Yeah, I'm like, all right, you know, like you can chew with your mouth closed yeah. and it'll taste just as good, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, and I, I you know, won't have to hear you smack in your lips. You don't have to air you know? it or anything, right? My brother's like that. He uh, he's so bad that he'll get irritated with himself sometimes. Well, that's bad. Yeah, it's you bad. Got a problem, my boy. Yeah, I know, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> my boy, you got you got to eat, my boy. <laughs> but he'll like, I I don't look at myself as a super loud eater. I try yep. to keep my mouth closed as much yep. as possible. Yeah. But when I'm around him, if I'm eating chips, he'll be like, dude. Come on, man. I'm like, oh, I can hear boy. you in the next room, my boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this episode's just going to be called My Boy. <laughs> my Boy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's yeah. funny. No, that's about it. That is about it. That actually wraps up our episode. So cheers, Ben. Cheers, my boy. Cheers, my boy. <laughs> I'm out, but I'll sip on the, the remnants. All right, guys. Thanks for being here. We appreciate you. Sticking around till the end if you're still watching. Wow. Hey, oh. <laughs> we'll see you uh, next Thursday. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, uh, all those things. Bird the watching podcast. Bird watching podcast. All the <laughs> stuff that everybody else says. Right. We'll catch you. Peace. Science teacher talking about a sound. And I guess I'm doing